Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile, and today we're talking about Nam Wolf. Much like Wolf Cop, I think Nam Wolf is a perfect title. It tells you everything you need to know. Wolf Cop, he's a werewolf, he's a cop. Also, it's going to be ridiculous, because he's a werewolf cop. Nam Wolf, Vietnam, werewolf, a little bit more serious, Vietnam. I'm a huge fan of this book. It's such a simple premise, but it's very well told. And so these couple of guys, uh, Rangel, I've bought, I want to say Kickstarter, uh, a couple of his books, Doc Unknown. This is many years ago. This, by the way, came out in 2017. Same artist who I think is an incredible talent and yet hasn't done that much work as far as uh, publishing comics go. Oh, Kill Strike, this came out in 2015. I will get to this eventually. I don't think it will be soon, but uh, this is also really good. Uh, so these two guys haven't done that much work. I was just looking them up to see what else they've done, and I'm surprised by how little. They, um, both of them have done some one-shots and things, but not many series. However, this is really just well done. I, in in my opinion. So, issue one, we get this incredible first page. Well, let me start with the cover, which I love. The amount of, you know, negative shape space going on here, it is phenomenal. And uh, the covers to some of the series, which we will see, are very similar. So, there it is again. But uh, we get a one page intro of kid going to war page two boots on the ground so there is the rest of the cast and don't get too intense because it's a war story so some of them are going to die but uh he does not know that he's a werewolf when he goes this is his father giving him a letter and he reads the letter in issue two after he turns into a werewolf in Vietnam for the first time and then wakes up in basically jail not remembering what has happened so it's the story of it's the 1970s it's actually 1970 exactly uh, our main character Marty he gets drafted 1970 he gets drafted into Vietnam he as I said does not know that he's a werewolf gets turned into a werewolf once he's there. Look at that. I freaking love it. And then just cuts loose and mayhem ensues. It is a battleground with a werewolf. Um, so issue two is sort of discovery. Issue, no, issue one is discovery. Issue two is kind of, but not really, an origin story. You get some family history about uh, his father grandparents look at this cover oh I love it and you can see there he is chained to a chair so the higher ups in the military find out what he is what he's capable of they try to weaponize him even more than he already is issue 3 is uh, it's a descent into a little bit of madness to try and brainwash him um and like I said, he doesn't remember when he turns back human after being a werewolf. He doesn't remember most of what he's done. And then issue four is resolution. There is a, there's a fantastic showdown in this, but there are other monsters in this. The Viet Cong have their own, and in the military, the U.S. military, create their own monsters. So it is a somewhat simple story that is incredibly well told the art is phenomenal i absolutely recommend this and i don't understand again why these two guys haven't done more professional work um, i think this is fantastic and i've said this a few times but i definitely recommend it look at this look at this cover i love it Anyway, if you are if you are at all interested, 
recommend again grabbing this. I don't know. So it was put out by Albatross, who was um, the publisher for a while. I think he's gone back to Dark Horse of the Eric Powell stuff. So Hillbilly and Goon and the like. I don't know how available this is. You might have some difficulty getting it, but if you can find it, absolutely, I recommend it. My copy is kind of beat up, and I think I probably got this from Amazon, and it was likely one of my last purchases because they kept shipping things shittily, and I would get books damaged, and it's terrible, and you would think someone that started out shipping books would know how to ship a book without being damaged, and yet somehow <sighs> Amazon is completely incompetent. So. I don't buy books from Amazon anymore. Um, yes, that's my story. But it is uh, Nam Wolf. I highly recommend it. Again, Werewolf in Vietnam is fantastic.